Gen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup and today I have a project pan. This is It's Panning Cats and Dogs project pan created by Danny at Danny's Makeup and Deb. Um, I think her channel's name is Deb B but I will have both of them linked below. This is a fantastic ladies collab. Um, I am late signing up. For, well, I signed up for it on time. I'm late posting. Uh, you've probably seen random get ready with me's or whatever, seeing that um, I haven't been feeling my best or very well. And I'm finally feeling back up to filming and putting makeup on my face. Um, so I figured I would give it a try. So this is such a cute project pan. Um, there are a total of 42 prompts with prompt number 42 being a bonus. And um, I'll have all the information, all the prompts and everything linked below or listed below. Um, and this collab, this project runs from October 22nd of 2022 to October 22nd of 2023, um, which is National Make-A-Dogs Day. Um, this is roulette style, and you start with six prompts with monthly updates on the 22nd. Apparently, unless you are me and you are late to everything, I will probably be late to my own funeral, just so you know. Um... The amazing thumbnail was created by Deb and it's adorable. It's a lot of the um, collaborate like people in Fantastic Ladies. It's a lot of their animals. So let's get into the project. The first prompt is um, best of breed and that is tell us about your pet. Past or present, doesn't have to be a dog or cat, can do this prompt once or one time for each of your favorite pets. So I'm gonna scoot over and this says you're like really pretty so um I'm gonna start with my cat Chloe actually is she in here no um I'm gonna start with Chloe and just share with you um a little bit about her and why I picked the product that I did but we're gonna do that after I roll in a couple prompts and I go find all my products so, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use Pretty Random to roll in five prompts, and I'm going to pick between two and 41. So I have between two and 42, and I have it selected to prevent rerolls, so I'm going to randomize 17, 12, 6, 32, 7. I think that's 5. Oh, I just accidentally rolled another one. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I'm going to do the first 5 that I randomized. And I'm going to go select my products and I'll be back. All right, I am back and I have chosen the products that I'm going to put in this project. So let's start with Best of Breed and that is... Tell us about your pet, past or present. Um, so you can do this prompt once or you can do it one time for each pet that you would like to share. So I have three cats. I'm gonna do it one for each cat that I have. So the first one I'm going to do is my kitty cat, Chloe. And um, I used to be a 911 dispatcher and part of our like training was we had to go see the different places that we dispatched for. It kind of gives a, a better understanding one of those places was the animal shelter. So of course I walk by and there's this sweet little innocent kitten like playing around and being super cute and playful and like, you know, pawing at the glass. And I was like, I need to hold her. And my husband was in Afghanistan. So it was just me and my oldest daughter at the time and a couple other cats. <laughs> and um, I didn't leave with her. I, I said we were too full. Um, but everyone in my life convinced me I needed to go back and get her because I could not get her off my mind. So the very next day, I waited for them to open and ran in and was like, I need this cat. 
And so when I picked her up, she immediately like put a paw on each side and like nuzzled my um, like chin with her head. And she was just like the sweetest thing ever. And she's still so sweet. She's very like skittish and scared. Um, but once she learns to trust you, she is just a beautiful soul. So I chose Becca Skin Love because she is full of so much love. And also she's all white and there's white packaging. This is a Brighten and Blur Primer. And um, Chloe has definitely brightened our life for the last 14 years that we have had her. Um, so my goal <laughs> on this is to use it 14 times. <laughs> One time for each year that we've had our beautiful Chloe. Um, this is actually an older primer in my collection. Um, luckily it says 24 months, so I think I'm still okay. It still smells fine. It still seems to perform fine, but I would like to get some usage on it. So at least if I do end up having to toss it, I, I got like my money's worth out of it. It was in a subscription box. So, I mean, it's not like I paid full price, but I still paid something for it. You know, there was still value in the box that I paid for. Um, so that's 14 uses. The next one is, um, I rolled in prompt number six. I'm just going in order of the numbers, not really necessarily the order that I rolled them. Um, number six is Siamese, the loudest purrs, product that makes you purr with delight. So I chose my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kush. This is actually like one of my most favorite Super Shock Shadows. And, um, I'm not going to get a great swatch because I have a giant uh, neon pink sign behind me, but that's fine. Um, but it's just, it's so pretty and it's like these beautiful taupey colors that I'm going to be just loving using going into, you know, fall and winter. So I figured this would be a good time to roll it in and my goal on this is to use it 20 times. And then for the next prompt, I rolled in number seven, German Shepherd Guard Dog Protector, an item that protects your makeup and SPF, primer, setting spray, powder, etc. So I chose the BH Cosmetics Paradise Set Spray, and my goal is to finish this. It's, um, it's pretty full. <laughs> I've used it a handful of times. I do like it. Um, I have, like, the least amount of usage. Like, this has to be, like, down here left in this bottle. So once this is done, I'm going to be tempted to open another one and keep using it and skip using this one that's already open. So I want to motivate myself to use this, even though I, I love it. It smells nice. It's hydrating. Um, it's a great setting spray. I have no complaints, but for some reason, this is just like my go-to. Like I just, I know I can depend on it. So that's where we're at with that. So this is not in the project. I just um, wanted to explain why I'm choosing this one. The next prompt I rolled in was number 12, ID tags, product that starts with the first letter of your name. Okay, so this was a little challenging for me, trying to find something that started with a G and trying to like do it genuinely and not be like, oh, it's makeup geek. Um, so, um, this is Makeup Geek. However, this is the shade Gunmetal, and this is an eyeliner, and I actually really do like this one very much. I'm going to miss it when it's gone. Um, I have a lot left in it. Like, it's, it's pretty full. So that's where we're starting. I'll, I'll, I'll mark it on a sheet. Um, but my goal on this is to finish it. Um, it says it's good for 24 months, but I would like to get through some of my eyeliners that I'm not really working on. And then the next item is number 17, Sharpay, a skincare product that combats wrinkle, wrinkles. Um, so I chose the Pure Submerge um, moisturizer and... This is like a gel moisturizer and it's so weird because it's like a grayish color. When I first opened it, I was so turned off by it. It smells like, 
It just smells like skincare. Like it doesn't really smell bad or highly fragranced or anything. And you know, when you put it on and spread it in, um, it's a gel moisturizer. So it kind of sits on the skin for a minute and then it kind of soaks in. And my skin is like, it's dry, but it's also like thirsty. Like whatever I put on it, it's like, <laughs> thank you. May I have another? Um, so I typically switch between the moisturizers that I'm using, but I have a backup of the Tarte Drink of H2O. So I really need to finish this so I can start on the Drink of H2O. Um, so that being said, my goal on this is to finish it. Try to be a bit more studious about using it. And then finally, <laughs> this was actually a difficult prompt for me. So I have number 32, cat tree, an item with asymmetrical packaging or stackable products. I have nothing that is stackable, like nothing that I can put my eyes on that is a stackable product. They actually drive me crazy, so I tend not to purchase them. Um, I'm always like, ooh, that looks really nice for travel. And then I go, okay, but in, in all practicality, you're going to be miserable. Don't do it. So technically this one is asymmetrical. And so I thought about bumping this out, but I really don't want to put two skincare products in. So I went with a lip product and hopefully this is not like cheating, but this, um, <laughs> applicator is very asymmetrical. And so this is the Sigma Conditioning Lip Mask with Hyaluronic Acid, Vitamin E, and Jojoba Oil. And um, I keep forgetting about this because I keep it on my beauty desk, or beauty desk. I keep it on my vanity. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I just completely forget to use it. So my goal on this is to finish it because I paid a buttload of money for it. And I want to get my money's worth out of it. So that is it for this update. Hopefully I get this edited and uploaded pretty quickly since I'm already late to the party. Um, please excuse my tardiness. I will try to be more on time next month, but given the state of my health lately, I make no promises that I will have my life put together at any point in the near future. So that being said, if you like this video, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye.